Tell me, uh, tell me about your uh, your involvement with the Professional Ski Instructors of America and uh, and what you've been doing recently with them. I've been an Alpine examiner since 1997, uh, so I've been you know was functioning in the adapt Alpine world, and when I started working at Adaptive Sports Foundation, you know I I started kind of just seeing that all the the things that I do in the Alpine world have direct application to adaptive it's all you know skiing is skiing is skiing it's all the same stuff um, and there we have some ed staff TSIA ed staff members on our staff at ASF so I started working with them and uh, ended up fortunate enough to be the coach of the PSIA uh, adaptive national team and we just came back from Inner Ski, which is in Ushuaia, Argentina, which is the southernmost ski area in the world. Wow! And uh, it's Inner Ski is the is just the most for a ski instructor or a snowboard instructor. It's the, the most amazing event in the world because every ski teaching, snowboard teaching, Nordic teaching country in the world comes to one place every four years, and it's it's just a big share fest, you know. Every, everybody oh, great. brings yeah. their their education materials, and you share them with, and you get to go out in clinics with everybody and find out what what are the fundamentals of their belief system and why they teach the way they do, and um, it's it's uh, it's just an amazing networking opportunity and chance to see what everybody's doing and to 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 really verify or validate in ourselves what um, our belief system in the United States is yep. and that it's strong. And what, uh, tell me about adaptive uh, skiing ar around the world, like what, what, are, what are some other, other countries doing? It was, there was not, the only other country there that had adaptive team members was San Marino which is, I think, the smallest country in the world. Where is San Marino? It's in the northeast sec uh, corner of Italy. And it's a republic within, inside Italy. Wow. And they had a three-tracker on their team. Mm -hmm. And uh, otherwise, people didn't really have, they didn't have adaptive team members. Um, they had a, usually had somebody in their delegation. And they mostly wanted our, our education materials. And um, they, you know, they said they base everything off what we do in the United States, which was, was, you know, great validation. Also good motivation. <laughs> you know, we, we can't stagnate because four years from now in Bulgaria, they're going to want something new. So. Yeah, right, right, right. So